Hello everybody, I'm Dave Chaos, and today we're checking out MSI's GP60 Leopard uh, gaming laptop. This is a small 15 inch, um, very powerful little device. Um, I've had a little play about on it and it is pretty impressive. So we're going to have a look around this laptop. We're also going to do some test benches on there. And I'm also going to do an FPS test um, with Watch Dogs. Because that's, you know, a relatively new game. So you want to know that it performs quite well on here. And uh, we'll see how that turns out. Alright guys, let's take a look. All right, so here it is. I'm loving the look of this laptop. It's got like this brushed metal look all over the uh, outside as well as the inside as well. I like the fact that it runs through. Some laptops only do the outside and not the inside. Um, we'll have a look at the inside in a second. We've got the Gaming G Series Dragon logo right here with the MSI right there. So you know that this is a gaming laptop and not just a standard laptop. If we just turn it around this way, because of course that's the way it opens. Um, logo's upside down so that when it's open people who are behind you can see the branding so let's open it up and here we go so we'll have a, a quick look around as you can see that uh, color scheme comes right through with this brushed metal look i'm loving that look it's uh really makes it feel like a proper gaming machine so we'll have a quick look around here the first thing i want to point out is this keyboard they have actually teamed up with steel series so right here you've got the steel series logo and we have a keyboard um that has been designed in partnership with MSI and SteelSeries um, to get you a really good gaming keyboard. I'm really impressed by it. I've had a bit of gaming on here, a bit of typing, and it's got a very nice feel to it. Uh, the keys are feeling very solid. You know, this is pretty much your standard sort of um, laptop keyboard, you know, low profile and all that, but it just feels that little bit extra special. So I'm really impressed that they've uh, gone to the effort to team up with SteelSeries and do that. Uh, as you can see, we've got uh, stereo speakers right here, so you've got left and right. We've got a few um, buttons here which will do different things. We've got an eject button for the optical drive, which is right here, which is another nice little addition to see on a small 15-inch laptop like this. They usually don't bother with optical drives, but they have managed to squeeze one in on this one. Um, we've also got a, a button for the screen, which will deactivate the screen for... Um, uh, putting on like an external monitor if you wanted, but it's got another hitch which we'll talk about in a little while. We've also got a button here which is for um, boosting the fan speed. So basically, when you're gaming, you can press this button, it'll uh, put the fans on like 100%, so you get a little bit of extra performance out of it. It'll cool it down um, by an extra 5 to 10% as well, so that's a really great little addition there. Uh, we've also got a G button which brings up the MSI uh, gaming options so you can tweak uh, your different options in there which we'll have a look in a little while. And then of course your power button. We've got a, a function key right here. One of the extra things that um, the collaboration between MSI and Still Series that they did was um, they've put the Windows key over here so that when you're gaming, you don't accidentally tap it. So you've got your function key here for the, the different volume up and down, the brightness of the screen are right here, and the volumes are right here, as well as a mute button. So that's uh, quite nice. There's a few other bits and bobs around here. We've also got uh, a few indicators right here. So there's all the different logos for, you know, your hard drive, activity, Bluetooth, battery power and all that, and all the lights are right in the front right here. We'll have a look a second. Um, so that's the general layout of when you open the thing up. So let's have a quick look around uh, the laptop and see what different stuff you've got in here. So as I said, here's your optical drive. This is a DVD player as well. Uh, you've got um, a USB 2.0 port, but this is also a turbo port for um, powering things like, uh, sorry, charging, I should say, for charging things like your mobile phone and things like that. You want to be using this port because it has a little bit more power push to it. You've also got your um, VGA out. You've got killer LAN as well, not your standard Intel LAN. This is killer LAN for, for your gamers. It will reduce latency and all that sort of stuff. So that's great that they've added that onto there. There's nothing around the back uh, to free up space for the battery to go in because this is quite a slim laptop. Uh, around the other side, you've got um, your lock hole, power hole, uh, the vent hole, another USB 2.0. This is a standard USB 2.0. Uh, HDMI out, two USB 3.0s, your audio jacks are right here as well, so that's um, headphones and microphone. And a quick look around the front, two more vents and your SD card reader, which is pretty handy to have on there. <laughs> so 
Alright, so while we have a quick tour around the laptop and have a look at its build quality, we'll have a talk about what's packed into this thing. MSI have managed to get some cool tech into here for you. So, when I was mentioning a moment ago about um, being able to have different displays on there, they have a feature called Matrix Display, which basically means you can use the VGA port and the HDMI port at the same time to have two displays. Um, if you have the GP series, uh, you can of course have all three displays on at the same time which is a really nice touch. So like I said earlier this laptop has got a 15.5 inch HD display which is uh, 1366 by 768 but it's got an FHD of 1920-1080. It also has anti-glare on there which is really nice and handy for you gamers. Um, it does have a built-in webcam which is a, a HD type running at 720p at 30 frames per second which is fine you know you're not going to really use that very often to be honest and um, this does come with two different types of processor this particular one is the intel core i7 fourth generation but you can also get an intel i5 fourth generation um, as well graphics in here is a geforce gt 840m uh, which is sporting two gigs of ddr3 ram it has two system memory slots for a maximum of 16 gigabytes altogether um, connectivity has got Bluetooth, we've also got Wi-Fi on there which is you know the standard stuff that you'd expect. The battery is a 6 cell Lion battery and the weight of this laptop with the battery installed is a, a pretty light 2.4 kilograms which is fantastic for this device. Alright so we did a few tests, the first one was 3D Mark, we used a new Skydiver um, graphic scene that they've got and we got an overall score of 6019, that's with a graphic score of 5772, a physics score of 7273 and a combined score of 6422 so not too bad there. We also used the 3D Mark PC Mark 8 as well to get some other uh, test results on web browser and all that sort of stuff. We got an overall score of 2,817. The test duration was 46 minutes. Uh, we got write speeds of 5.6 seconds. Uh, video chat 42 milliseconds. Web browsing in jungle pin. Uh, 0.41732 seconds, casual gaming of 27 FPS, advanced photo editing of 0.38 seconds, web browsing in the Amazonia 0.1.5 and video chat and video chat playback at 30 FPS. I then went on to test the FPS in-game, so we tried out Watch Dogs and Bioshock Infinite because I wanted to get uh, the different results from a brand new game and a game that's you know been on the market for a little while. So for Watch Dogs, on the lowest settings, um, we got an average of 40 frames per second, minimum of 28 and a maximum of 50 at 5. Um, it didn't perform very well on high options, so there is an automatic um, option in Watch Dogs which will you know, basically know the spec of your machine and put the settings to what it thinks is best for that machine. So with those results, we've got an average of 24 frames per second with a minimum of 17 and a maximum of 30. We did much better with Bioshock Infinite, obviously you know, with uh, the graphics drivers being up, all up to date with that, no issues, it's been on the market for a while. Um, on the lowest settings we got a massive uh, 59 frames per second with a minimum of 56 and a maximum of 63. And then on high settings with the graphics we got an average of 55 frames per second with a minimum of 41 and a maximum of 63. And you can agree that those results are quite good uh, in comparison to Watch Dogs. But bear in mind that Watch Dogs is a brand new game and the drivers are still being worked on for it. So there we have it, that was the MSI GP60 Leopard gaming laptop right here and I've really enjoyed using this. I've got to say I love the look of it. I mean this whole um, brushed metal look that they've got on here that runs through to the inside as well is really nice and as you can see it's you know super light with its weight as well which makes it extra you know portable and, and so much better. I've got another laptop here which is you know it's a massive 17 inch screen it's really really heavy and um, although it's quite powerful it's really awkward for me to get it from like you know place to place you know because it's so large um, but a, a 15 inch laptop like this with the power that it's got is is really nice and I really like the fact that they've teamed up with SteelSeries to get this um, bespoke keyboard it just makes it just a little bit better um, for gaming on so 
uh, like I say, as you can tell, I'm pretty well impressed. The results from the bench testing and all that are, are quite good as well. I know um, the results from Watch Dogs was a little bit lower than it was from Barry Shrek Infinite, but Watch Dogs is a rather new game, and um, not all the drivers are quite optimised for that game yet. And of course, Watch Dogs is brand new, so it's going to push the laptop to its limits, where Barry Shrek Infinite's a little bit older now. Um, so, you know, that's why there's a, a bit of a difference with FPS there. But, you know, you can comfortably play Watch Dogs on the lower end settings. I actually did it on the automatic settings. Um, and it was, it was really good, you know. I, it was fine. There was nothing to complain about at all. So with all that in mind, I've decided to give this laptop um, a Hardware Heaven Gold Award. It's a very good laptop and it deserves it. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Like or dislike, you got any comments you want to talk about the laptop and anything like that, ask any questions, we'll try and answer them. Stick them in the comment section below and we'll catch you next time.